Well, the company planning to build a carbon pipeline through Nebraska and Iowa says hundreds of landowners have agreed to let it build on their property. But according to filings with the Iowa Utilities Board, the company still may use eminent domain to get that project done. Tonight, one farmer explains why he's frustrated with the pipeline plan. KTV News Watch 7's Abby Peterson reports near Emerson, Iowa. The owner of this farm tells me he has many concerns about the pipeline, some of those being his safety and also those of his livestock. A strip of ground through your property. Tom Honeyman is a fourth generation farmer on this land east of Emerson, raising corn, soybeans, hay and livestock. So when he heard there may be a pipeline of carbon dioxide going through this property. My reaction was, no, you're not. Honeyman and his neighbors say the project is intrusive. This is an invasion on the land, on our property. It's an invasion. It's like you're doing surgery on the land. If we're a half mile from the pipeline, are we safe? I don't, we have cattle out to pasture, not in a feedlot. This is going near feedlots and hog confinements. What's it going to do to those animals if it ruptures? Summit Carbon Solutions says it does have a plan for that and other issues that may arise. There are requirements in place that we are going to be meeting or even exceeding when it comes to our pipeline siding, our pipeline design and our pipeline operation. And all of those things are, are in place to protect public health and the environment. The president of the Nebraska Farm Bureau says they're in favor of the pipeline. They say it would make ethanol plants more sustainable. Still, Mark McCarg says landowners should decide what's best for them. It's important that property owners get good legal representation. Contracts are complicated and it's important that you have someone that understands contracts uh, to look that over and make sure it is in the best interest of you as a property owner. The farmer tells me no matter what, he's going to continue to fight that pipeline. Reporting east of Emerson, Abby Peterson, KETV, News Watch 7.